Well, it's family time here at uh, Camp Marywood, and earlier we spoke to the Groudon family, and Mom is back right now. So, Tara, this is what a lot of people don't take into account. Like, we, we always say we need to, to help the kids and get the kids here, but the kids have families, and they're part of families, and it, it requires extra work in, in a lot of cases, too. So, what happens here at camp for you? I was really nervous to come here, to be completely honest with you. My husband was a little bit more excited, but I was always worried about thinking those five to 10 steps ahead about how are we gonna make this happen? Or what what if this happens? What if that happens? And it took me a couple of days to settle in to finally realize, you know what? I don't need to worry about, you know, how we're gonna get down to the waterfront or how we're gonna get to the washroom or how we're gonna get into the, the dining hall because it's all completely accessible. Um, how we're going to get into a boat. All those things that we might not be able to do at home as, as easily are completely accessible here. So that's lovely not to have that stress of thinking five to ten steps ahead. And I, I know it's a duty of love but you're still working constantly with Sawyer and for Sawyer. Is, I, would you say it's almost just a bit of a holiday for you here? Oh for sure yeah we're able to we open the door Teddy just it's like, I'm going to be here, and he leaves. We don't have to worry about him. Um, we can let Sawyer go with some of the other, the campers and counselors if she wants as well. And it's, uh, there's definitely, instead of the 24-7, you're always on, always thinking about what's going to happen. You do get those few minutes here and there where you're like, oh, I can just kind of relax, and they're taken care of. And it's also easy if you have a child with complex needs to fall into that trap of, I'm the only one. I'm the only one who has to go through all this, but you're, you, you meet other parents here and you realize, wow, I'm not alone. Yeah, it was funny because the first couple of nights we were all apologizing to one another for having our child be up in the night or up really early and then we realized, wait a second, everyone here is in a similar storm together and we're all, we, we, we all get it. And it's been really nice to network with families um, from, from all over the place and kind of just be with people who understand what you're going through and you can bounce ideas off of one another like hey I see this communication device you're using tell me more about that or I love the wheels on your stroller where did you get that and how can we make that happen or what kind of vehicle do you drive how do you fit all of that equipment in so it's just lovely to talk to people that don't glaze over when you start wanting to talk about those things that mean so much and are so important to your kid. When you come to a place like this with a child with complex needs you're always expecting to be doing the little things that you do every day with them. But I, the first day here, uh, the staff just, they take the kids. If they need a, a bum change, they change their bum, wipe their bum. And something that, you know, you wouldn't expect anyone else to do that for your child, but they just do it with open arms and it's just second nature to them. It's pretty incredible to, to see. I'm still trying to process it all and it, it makes me emotional, it makes me just ecstatic, it makes me so grateful that this place exists and that so many children of mixed abilities get to come here and experience the true gem that this place is. So what would you say to the other dads out there who might be thinking about helping, uh, helping out Easter Seals? Oh, do whatever you can. This is a, we need more places like this. It's a, a wonderful opportunity for any family that can come here. Well, it's a chance to interview the big cheese here at Camp Marywood, the head honcho, the numero uno, the camp director. This is Jessica. Hello. So what's it like from your standpoint to have experienced Marywood? Like what was your first impression and, and, and what are you thinking now that the summer is almost over? Well, I should start off by saying that I wasn't exactly sure what I was getting myself into. First and foremost, the sailboats caught my eye. I've never seen accessible sailboats before. and. I've been to many camps in my life, but never an Easter Seals camp. And Marywood is very, very special in the sense that it is highly accessible. And the people that work here, it takes a special person um, to take a job like this, right? And to work with this population. And so the energy here, um, the facilities itself, it is a very special place to say the least. Tell me about the kids uh, when they, they arrive and when they go home. What's the difference? They always show up with a smile of course but I would say the smile is ten times bigger when the time that they leave some campers arrive with a little bit of anxiety of course new places for some of them by the end of the session they always have the time of their lives a, a lot of kids too they spend most of the year being told no being told you can't do that you're nope, not able to go there and they come here but they always have their parents around them but they come here they must be a little bit kind of like 
well, how am I going to get along here if everywhere else they say no to me? But it must be an incredible surprise for them. It really is. And I've had countless conversations with campers and staff as well, where the way that relationships are approached here, everybody's aware of what's going on and everybody's unique differences. Um, and so everybody's very mindful about respecting um, each other and um, everybody's own wishes. And so checking in with campers and with the other staff members to make sure everybody's comfortable, everybody's okay with what's going on. That's something that, something that we really, really emphasize here. Um, and so having that ability to be entirely independent this is a perfect opportunity for them to kind of branch out and to speak for themselves and express themselves in their own choices we are now just at the flagpole the the center point of Camp Marywood a lot of important stuff happens here every day starts here and no one knows this better than Michelle you have been a counselor here for more than a decade I have yeah it's been 12 years I've been here Wow, so let's talk about the flagpole first. What happens here? Uh, so every morning, the campers will gather around um, and what they do is um, they'll call out is loon cabin here and they'll go all the way down the cabin line to make sure we have everybody here at flagpole. Little bit of everything um, in the morning and then um, we head into breakfast from there. And then the day ends with a fire. Yeah, so we head over to, um, we call it uh, Illamark, uh, which is our campfire area, and they all get dressed up in costumes, whatever that theme may be, and they sing songs in an order, they act out a skit with the songs, and then we always start with the Marywood song and end with friends. So for people who have donated money to Easter Seals, then can you let them know they got their money's worth? They sure did, 100%, um, especially when you see the faces of campers, um, you see the faces of even the families and staff um, that are here every year to um, make this such a welcoming environment and um, absolutely love. And you, you see that in the campers that, um, you know, our Voyager sessions that are 19 to 36 now uh, year olds and they're still coming. And, you know, it was our biggest session last week where we had 48. Um, voyagers so it it shows how much this place means to a lot of people well thank you for what you do thank you and thank you for what you do